Hi friends, today you will see a manhwa called Act Like You Love Me. It's a light comedy with serious overtones about a realistic girl who accidentally falls into show business. A good balance of comedy and drama. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. It really helps in the development of the channel. Thank you. So, let's get started. Who do you spend your free time with? With friends, with a loved one, maybe with your family? Nam Dion is spending time with Deer. Deer Apartments will always be there for you, a place to call home, forever. Who is that stupid commercial for? Advertising apartments on an app where the maximum that shines is a dime. All day she was torn between three jobs. In the morning the girl was in fast food. In the afternoon she worked in a restaurant. Well, and in the evening the heroine went out in the night shift in the grocery store, and by the end of the day she could barely move. She already fainted a few times from working so hard, but she had learned a lot. 1. The work itself is not the hardest part. 2. No day is without incident. 3. It's all people's fault. Like that old fart, who seemed suspicious as soon as he walked in. He couldn't drink until he paid. The man couldn't pay with money. She should have called the police. And so there was shouting and yelling. The boys chatted about bullduck, sausages, and other goodies. Class was over. That's how that parasite got away and the guys didn't see it. Not out a day goes by that something doesn't happen. As soon as she's saved up enough money, she's out of here now. The girl said goodbye to her shifter and went home. There she remembered the old swindler who had chosen the most useless prizes. If the store owner finds out about today's incident, although she'll be glad if that happens. Her bosses always looked down on her because the girl was young or because she was a woman. You could be all rolled into one. Right now, Jian had four hours left before another job. You know what kept her from losing her dignity? The habit of always finishing what she started. Suddenly, the woman splashed water at the young man. She can't let him marry her daughter. What's the matter? The guy threatened with his own hair. What's more, he'd abandoned his apartment, given up on his parents. He wasn't afraid of anything. How many more stops does she have left? On weekdays, Jian worked three jobs alternately. And on weekends, she took a part-time job, which paid well, by the way. And today, it was at the... She was asked to fill out a form and write down what she had time to do. Turn it in at the end of the day. Otherwise, she wouldn't get paid. The registration fee was 35000 one. But if she paid now, it would only cost 30000 But no one was talking about it. Too many people left in the middle of the day, saying it was very difficult. Young people nowadays don't want to work at all. The staff and masses were not doing well for the day. So she was put on shift, hence the registration fee. She will be refunded this money after filming, but it will also help her find a job in the future. It would be nice to keep doing it. She made up her mind. The masses had a short break. There was nothing special about the TV station. Wait, so Gian would be able to see it being filmed. Maybe some celebrity was there. And there it is. Dear Apartments, Nam Dion to be exact. He motioned for her to come through. His manager Kim Hoon had already left and the stylist wouldn't be in today, so the actor instructed her to go and fetch his clothes from the car. Then she should have brought more Einspanner. It was hard. To put it mildly, why did he have so many clothes? He has 12 bodies under that load, she asked for an Einstein. One Einstein? Luckily, she managed to make it. The girl even took two just in case. Ara, there was a long silence. He was quite handsome. This was all a first for her. Jian had never met a celebrity live and didn't know that a passerby had to do such a job as well. But Nam Duyon thought she was a manager with two years of experience. There were moments when the body reacted faster than the mind. A chill ran down his back and the man was covered in cold sweat. The director got mad because an extra actress went missing and he was reprimanded. It was clear to him that the girl just wanted to look at the stars. In his opinion, she quit her job and ran away. Everyone her age was like that. Home. Sweet home, what was supposed to be a cozy place turned out to be a pigsty, depressing even more. Though it was her own fault for the mess. I should have stayed home and watched my love with a ponytail. But what about the registration fee? What was she doing all day? It was a lot of money too. G.I. on could have earned 100,000 one. It was past midnight, which meant it was time to hit the cash mine. The amount of money spent was proportional to her self-loathing, even though the protagonist realized it was her fault, but she always blamed herself. Jian lost the money like a fool. She ruined it all by herself again. How dare that Nam do you and make her work for free? He'd come crawling back to her on his knees to beg for forgiveness. 
Well, she was hysterical. The doorbell rang. It must be the landlady. What should I tell her? Lee Jainan's place is to move into a nice apartment, but today she'll start realizing her own desires. Why was Nam Dion at her door? The guy was begging her to forgive him. A man who would do her every bidding. The temporary manager never showed up. He himself had warned him about Nam Dion's erratic character, but he probably ran away. What happened to the girl who came instead of the manager? She ran away. The actor couldn't believe he had made such a mistake. The stranger was a stranger. Not for nothing, Jian thought something was wrong. Why didn't she say it was a misunderstanding? The director burst through his door. Now, he was delighted that the guy had agreed to a cameo in the new show. He was even sure the ratings would skyrocket. Nam, Dion hasn't changed a bit since his debut. It's a shame he's only doing commercials now. But where did he run off to? It was here. He didn't realize what he was doing in this woman's house. As she asked him to stop, but he would have loved to, but he couldn't. Jayan shouted that if the actor didn't stop, she would call the police. Has Nam Duyan really gone crazy? What kind of pervert? Why did he commit such a creepy act? The guy wanted to talk, but the apartment was not cleaned, so the girl asked him to go to a cafe nearby. Suddenly something happened to him. His heart was beating like crazy. Jayon had gotten him inside after all. Was it more than that? Nam Dalyon asked her not to tell anyone about what happened today. That's how he threatened to sue her. Did the guy even realize he plowed her down and loaded her up with work? But Nam Dion said they should have forgotten about it already. If that's the case, the protagonist won't be silent. Uh, she'll demand what she's entitled to. The actor will have to reimburse all her expenses for today. Maybe he wanted to cheat her out of money. So this is all about money. Why would he come to her house and do all these strange things? Maybe she put something in his coffee? Is he glitching? Jan asked him to calm down. He was the reason she wasn't getting paid. The man only grinned. It always came down to money. Nudion said that the girl could go to his agency, tell what happened, and she would be reimbursed. But if something like that happened again, he wouldn't let her go again. Money. It's the reason people tried to get close to him. That's why he cut all ties. And that's why this woman dragged him here. He was so sick of it. Is it so hard to just apologize? She even gave him water. Jai On wasn't going to ask him for money. Who does he think she is? Though judging by his character, the guy definitely wouldn't apologize. If he came here against his will, why did he do that? Who would lick a stranger's feet? Wait. She made him do it. At that time, the CEO was reprimanding the guy for not listening and doing everything without permission. He didn't even realize what had happened, but Nam Duyong couldn't tell him about that woman. It was personal. The actor went six whole years without making a movie. All he had to do was appear in a small cameo. No way. Nam Duyong obeyed her. Crazy. Apparently this mind jai really did have magic power. Beat it, kid. Oh, who Chul charged at him. How about a left hook? How's he doing? The CEO. The actor swore his body moved on its own. He didn't even think. Still, he shouldn't have walked off the set. Hu Chul ever made them change the script to insert a cameo. Maybe it's for the best that name Dion quit. What if he had a panic attack on set? The mere thought of crowded places made his breathing quicken. He didn't know if he'd be able to work like before. Dion is gone. He could have at least met him. He was suffering so much. The guy explained that he couldn't control his body as if it was moving on its own. That's not the point. If Nam Du Yon didn't restore his reputation, Hu Cho would have to say goodbye to him. There were rumors that without him, the agency would be finished, and the expiration date of the contract was coming soon. People thought that Nam Du Yon preferred not to work because he was fabulously rich. What kind of agency would pay for an expensive contract with an actor who can't act? Jian remembered that strange guy's words. Honestly, she didn't even want that money. He had come to her house by himself and made this whole circus. Do people talk like that? Then why did Nam do Yun kneel down and start apologizing? Suddenly the girl was distracted by a message. Someone was very grateful to her. Sometimes the protagonist wondered why she had invested so much, why she was trying to make ends meet. When Jayan was ready to give up on everything, she thought of one person. They lived apart now, but one day they would be together again. With mom, if everything she said was carried out, Many people would have a hard time today. Had it been her, the girl was sure the toy had been on the floor this morning. 
Maybe she was confused about something. Of course. That didn't stop him, G.A., on ask for a lot of money, or at least money for a down payment. She didn't ask for an apartment at Dear Apartments. A very ordinary apartment for two people would do just fine. Everything was complicated. And after all, the girl just wanted to live together, and then the doorbell rang. Who could it be at a time like this? Nam Duyon? What was he doing here? He's even looking like that. The guy started to open his eyes after fainting, trying to realize where he was. Just then, Jayon was right there. What was she going to do to him? But he had come to her house on his own, hadn't he? The main character couldn't leave him lying on the floor, so she dragged him inside. And he still had the nerve to insult her. The actor himself clearly remembered going to bed before falling asleep. How had he gotten here in the first place? Suddenly, the hero apologized. Jian was greatly surprised. Could it be that Nam Duyong couldn't control himself again? Indeed, the boy had come here unwillingly, as he had last time, but to appear in a woman's house at such a late hour, and even in such a form, he was afraid he had frightened her, and therefore regretted it. Everything was fine. But was the guy really going to go home in this? There was no explanation for all of this. It must have been Manji's prank. When she said she missed him, she didn't mean him. What if all her words were affecting Nam, Dion? She asked if he had time to change his clothes, but he clearly wasn't happy with the t-shirt. Even the pants were okay in comparison. The girl was given it by her mom. She's never even worn it once. What kind of woman can live like that? And then he discovered something. A short while later, Jiayan was marveling at how well the sweater fit him. The boy thought it stank. The girl decided to see for herself, which embarrassed the man. She once spilled strawberry milk on it. Since then, Jayon hadn't touched that sweater. Or had she bought it at a vintage store? What was on her mind? Did she do it on purpose? Maybe Nam Duyun needed to call someone. Or call a cab, the girl could have lent her phone. Except it was that simple. He had no one to turn to, so the guy decided to call a cab. After a long pause, she wanted to watch her TV series. Ten episodes had already come out, and the main character was still on the fifth my love with a ponytail. It was written by Kim Gim Seok. Men usually didn't know the names of the writers, but it was his job. Didn't Jion see him as a celebrity? The girl loved her TV series. As it turned out, her guest was in one of her shows. So she started looking for him. It's fake. What you don't do to honor a celebrity. Now the protagonist is frozen. Why has her behavior changed so drastically? She's too calm. Was there something in her phone that he shouldn't have seen? Nam Duyuan was sure she was up to something. Put that aside. What are those? Handcuffs. It was just a toy. He'd ordered her to give him her phone because he thought she'd filmed it while he was asleep. What's more, the guy announced that the girl once had a crush on him. If he could find a single photo of him taken here. But something was strange. As it turns out, an article came out about actor Nam Duyuan walking around town in his pajamas. But fortunately, it was removed after a while. However, something leaked out. It looked like it was cleaned up pretty quickly. Nam Duyon himself wondered why his manager didn't ask anything. But after all, he wouldn't have said anything anyway. The guy apologized and wondered if his buddy was so nice to everyone. Or if it was just him. It must be a character trait. Strangers who were kind to an actor usually had some self-serving motive. This woman didn't look like that kind of person. But he could be wrong. But why? She slipped and fell, not on purpose. Nam Duyon was trying to figure out why she was trying to hide the phone, so he wouldn't see that article. Of course, the answer turned out to be yes. The man thanked her and bowed, surprising her again. Articles like this didn't bother him anymore, especially since it would be deleted tomorrow morning. He asked her not to worry about him, and so the cab finally arrived. But the girl didn't even try to hide it, because she was worried about him. To be honest, Jayan only did it because she didn't want the guy to freak out again. And she was too focused on Mindji to worry about him too. How annoyed they both were. And why were they doing something so out of character? Now Nam Dion would to pull himself together and control himself during the meeting with the advertisers. He could take a sedative, drink some water and relax. Well, Jayan thought about that actor all day. How did she even pull off three shifts? Was the girl really that impressionable? Although he didn't even know her name, the guy was the official face of Dear Apartments. Some criticized him. Some loved him. 
He was even paired with Won Hoon Soo in the series. No More Protagonist was the girl's first series. Jae knew that Nam Do Yeon was famous, but after realizing how much, she thought about what she was doing to him, made her put on her mom's t-shirt. Grab the collar, bold. She was never supposed to see him again. And all because of that stupid toy. Jai On would never say anything near her again. Though leaving her unsupervised was a little creepy too. What's that sound? Min Jai. The protagonist meeting will be just a formality. He's done a good job, so there's nothing to worry about. Except it was his manager who needed to be sedated. The man was nervous because everything could go wrong. But while the protagonist was struggling with her toy, some visitor approached her. He was clearly not in a sober state. The man grabbed her by the collar and started talking. He sold all this time while Jai On ignored him. And after all, she's obligated to respect buyers. Even his kid ignored him. The girl asked him to calm down, but he got so angry that she started snapping at him. The protagonist could not move from fear. Who was going to help her? The only one left was Nam Du Yoon. The man had already started to lob a right hand, but he was stopped. This super tall guy threatened him and ordered him to get off. So, we look forward to your comments about this story. To not miss new videos, please subscribe to notifications. Thanks for watching.